Hey everyone, welcome back to Jason Explains Things and welcome to our third installment on the Overland DIY project series with my friend Chris here and his 2016 Chevy Colorado Z71. Hello. So uh, we've done, uh, this is again, the third project we've done. The first one, we did the Icon uh, Stage 5 suspension kit. The second project, we did this awesome Prinsu roof rack. What are we doing this time, Chris? All right, today we are gonna be doing some maintenance on the truck, just a little bit. We're gonna be changing the rear diff fluid. Uh, while we have all of that out, we're gonna be putting on a new rear diff cover from AEV, um, as well as a rear differential slider. This truck is a four-door long bed, so it's a little long for the trails, but we make two. Yeah. <laughs> but it needs as much armor as it can get underneath. So the process of changing your rear differential fluid, as Chris says, is super easy. I actually did that on my 87 Dodge Ram, and you can check that video out if you're doing this process on an older vehicle, but it's very, very, very simple. And so it'll be probably even more simple because Older trucks like that don't have drain plugs, and new ones do. This so, one does. Yeah. yeah. So, so this cool. is going to be a little bit different from a standard rear diff fluid change because we're taking off the whole cover. Yeah. Um, but we'll give you the steps anyways. Cool. Yeah. All right. Let's check out the parts. Parts, Chris. Parts. Parts. All right. So we are going to go ahead and change out the rear diff fluid. We're also going to upgrade to synthetic. So once we're done, it should last me quite a bit longer in there. While we're doing that, we're going to pull off the old rear diff plate, and we're going to put on a new rear diff cover by AEV. A little bit beefier. It's got a bigger filler cap, things like that. And it's shiny. And mm -hmm. it's very shiny. Cool. Uh, and then, of course, once we're all done, we're going to protect it. Uh, this is also from AEV. This is a rear diff skid plate. Uh, slider, it should help quite a bit for this longer truck. So enough chit chat, let's do this. Nice. Okay, so first thing, this uh, modern truck is nice because there's a drain plug right here. But before, whenever you're switching out, <clears throat> excuse me, whenever you're switching out your rear diff fluid, you want to actually take the fill, the fill plug out first in case, because, well, this is not really an issue with a new truck, but with an older truck, you know, if this were to break and you drain it out, but then you can't fill it back in, then you're, you're screwed. And I'm just using a standard 3 8 extension, 3 8 wrench, or not wrench, but you know what I mean. Oh, that is, that is in there pretty good. There we go. So our fill plug is not stuck, so that's good. And here we go with our drain plug. There we go. Oh, I just thought of something. That uh, that whole thing about putting the taking the, the fill plug out first doesn't really matter with this case because we're gonna play, replace this anyway, but it's for normal. But still a good tip. Hi, Beat. Oh. Don't drink the water, Don't. Beats. It's not water, it's... Hello. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start taking our cover off. This will continue to drain. No big deal there. We'll just take this off. Um, star pattern, gonna use an impact, impact driver. Grab a little tray if you have a tray. Trays. Trays are good for you. Everybody loves trays. Everybody. Safety glasses are a smart idea. I know that from experience. Cut to shot of me in the ER with crap in my eye. <laughs> it's off! <laughs> glasses. Always wear glasses when you're being an idiot. <clears throat> For the record, when I did my old Dodge Ram, the, the cover was like really st stuck on there from like uh, a decade or something of being stuck on there. So I had to like wrench it off. But uh, Chris, uh, your truck uh, came right off. So that's good. So another interesting thing about this truck is that the gasket is reusable. Yeah, it's got a pretty heavy duty uh, rubber gasket on here. Um, it looks like it's reinforced around the screw plates too, so that's really nice. Um, and of course, we're pretty low miles on this guy, so I don't, 
I don't have any hesitation reusing this gasket at all. So one of the biggest differences on the new rear diff cover is the fill cap. This is much bigger, it's located up a little bit higher. Um, so it should be really easy to refill. So the old filler cap is more of just a, a level so you know when the runoff is gonna be when you filled it enough. So we'll leave this off while we install it till it starts to overflow a little bit. Then we'll cap this off, cap the top one off and we'll be all done. The new rear diff cover from AEV comes with all new mounting hardware. So it's gonna be a little bit different. You'll see along the bottom here, these are actually all recessed. So we will use these along the bottom and then the upper left side of the rear diff cover. On the upper right side, we have these split bolts. Um, these are to retain some of the brackets that are on there, as well as I believe it's a bracket for the ZR2 or maybe the diesel truck, uh, which I don't have. We're gonna use these bolts anyways though. Um, and yeah, so all new mounting hardware for the new rear diff cover. Put a couple in for placement here. Wind! Oh, good Lord. So we get them all started and then we'll Tighten them in a crisscross star pattern. We're gonna to torque all these down to about 20 pounds foot. Chris, that is very cool that they have such a large uh, fill hole right there and you don't have to use like a siphon or a pump or anything. I think that is pretty awesome. I appreciate it. So much, I mean, I thought that the, doing the Dodge was easy, but this is like infinitely easier. It's funny. All right, so I am just filling right now through the top fill cap until I see it start to pour out of the level cap on the bottom right there. Oh, there it is. Huzzah. Hey, and she's full. And she's full. Sweet. So the level cap uses the same Allen as all the recessed bolts around the side here. Use that to get it on. There we go. She's a beaut. All right, and then next, we are going to lubricate the O-ring on the filler cap here. Put that guy on, that uses the same 3 8 Then this guy, we are going to torque to 25 pounds. Right there. And it's done. Okay, so we have the rear diff on. Now we're gonna protect it with the slider here. What I'm gonna do, is, this is all very, very simple stuff. Um, we got a little collar here that'll go on over the end of the, the drive line there. And then we got a couple of U bolts that will go over the rear axle on each side of the rear diff. Hey, that looks sweet. Yeah, that plate's up there pretty good. Is that IED proof too? Is it, is it? I don't want to test it. We should test it. I don't want to test we it. We should test it. I don't think I want to do that. I don't have any IEDs. That's good, Jason. <laughs> it's out quite a ways on there. There we, we go. There we go. All right, it's on. That looks great. And it's done now. <laughs> it's ruining my exposure. It's ruining my exposure. You know, if you could just cut it out. Stop it, son. It's very bright. It's very bright. So very bright. Hey, well, this looks great. Uh, that was a nice, fun, easy little project. 
and uh, we're not going to test test uh, the new. We're not going to test the we're sliders gonna, today. I think gonna we're going to let that happen naturally. Okay. But right. I feel like we're ready now. Yes. I'm definitely. ready now. Yeah. So uh, again, we're uh, we're improving this truck, trying to build it up for adventures and. Uh, just a weekend get out of town truck, awesome. you know, ready for everything or as much as it can be. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, this might be it for a little while. I'm looking at maybe doing some uh, some more armor in the future, some full underbody armor. Very uh, cool. I would like to eventually get a high clearance bumper uh, front and rear would be amazing. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that'd be very cool. And thank you everybody for watching. Uh, share this with people that you think might enjoy such videos and we got two other episodes if you haven't seen those about the roof rack again and the suspension system so uh yeah chris thanks buddy yeah thank you all right we'll check you next time like smash and subscribe smash it smash, smash it. it smash it the like button specifically the, this, like button. the like button <laughs> don't just smash things that's stupid all right i better go right. thanks get out of, get out of my i'm car. out go away <laughs>